Morning. Hiya. Welcome Hi. to your Wednesday this morning. We are starting today with a little spot of golf. Yes, well, one man has taken his crazy passion for crazy golf to a whole new level and has spent a staggering £50,000 touring mini, mini courses around the world. And Richard Gottfried joins us now from one of his favourite holes at the Lost World Adventure Golf Course in Hemsby, Great Yarmouth. I mean, hello, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Tell us, this is, as I just said, £50,000. That's a staggering amount of money. When did your love for mini golf begin? Uh, well, it started um, back, in, back in the day when I was uh, uh, you know, growing up with my two brothers, uh, playing in holiday camps when we were growing up. But 2006, it really teed off when we uh, were playing a, a course in, uh, an adventure golf course in South Sea, and I won a free game on the lucky last hole. So, I mean, I, I, I've got friends who play golf very seriously. Mm. Um, and, uh, and uh, I mean, I, they look down on crazy golf a little bit. I don't like proper golf, but I don't mind a bit of no, crazy golf. No, I, I take the kids over yeah, half yeah, term yeah, and yeah. stuff. But you 50 like grand? Golf. How does that happen? Well, you end up going to 983 courses <laughs> around the UK, and, and 39 of those have been overseas, so it... It soon ramps up when you're when you're finding out there are all these courses. So in the Great Yarmouth area, there there are nine courses. So you know, and different varieties as well. So you just want to play them all, and it becomes a, a challenge to tick them all off. And well, they I, keep opening up. There's more and more opening up every week. I didn't realise that actually this is taken very seriously because you won a tournament, a crazy golf tournament in Las Vegas. I did indeed. Yeah, I won a, a tournament back in. Uh, 2011, um, that was fantastic. And I've, I've played in tournaments around the UK as well and Sweden and, and Finland as well. So yeah, there's a, a, a bit of a, a mini golf uh, tournament scene out there. And this, this is a passion that you share with your wife too, right? <laughs> yeah, we're super competitive. So we, we go to courses together. Uh, we log them on our, on our blog. We, uh, we, you know, we're always really, really competitive. There's normally only one, one maybe two shots in it in our matches, but um, yeah, we're both, we're both super competitive. <laughs> and so um, you are, as we said, in, uh, in Great Yarmouth um, uh, at the, uh, the Lost World of Adventure. Um, you, you're on, I don't know, what number hole are you on? This is hole number, I should know off the top of my head. Um, Hole seven, I think. Lucky hole seven. Okay. The volcano. Well, <laughs> it's a brand new hole, so uh, I haven't played it enough yet. OK. Well, good luck and, uh, and off you go. Yes, you go for it. And so, uh, <laughs> yes. standing at the ball now. Nice. Lot riding on this, nice obviously, at the uh, 2022 oh. championship. He's, yes. he's straight down the lava. And into the, the wrong field. exit. The wrong exit. <laughs> wrong exit. Wrong exit. Oh no! <laughs> so here he is now for the final Ooh. time taking the part. Oh. He's so close. <laughs> so close. Richard, we'll leave you there. This could be some time. <laughs> <laughs> he's in. He's in. Yeah, we've done it. Well done. Right, Thank, right, you much. Much. Thank you very much. Thank you, mate. Have Richard. a lovely summer with your crazy golf. Thank love you. that. There you go. See. I, I love Don't this show. Tell us it's not. Very. Absolutely not. <laughs> right, here's what else we've got coming up on the show today. He's half of one of TV's most iconic cooking duos. Uh, the hairy biker, Cy King, is in the kitchen today. Yes. Um, hi, Cy. So, I mean, our first question's got to be, how's Dave? Mm -hmm. He's doing OK. He's doing OK. He remains uh, really positive and pretty focused on, on, on his treatment. So, yeah, he's doing OK. He's typically Dave. He's as tough as an old boot. Yeah. <laughs> So he's no, he's doing grand. Well, Thank weird you for, for you cooking alone today. Yeah, uh, but it's a bit, it's, it's a bit odd without my mate. I have to say, yeah, but yeah no, it's good. It's well, good. you're amongst friends. What are you making? Uh, we're, we're having um, spinach and chicken curry, full Ooh. of vitamin C and iron and Healthy. all sorts. Yes. Yeah, very. 
Well, it's related to the book, you see, so... Of course. Of course. Which we'll be showing later. Fantastic. Thank you. It smells very nice. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. And as we prepare for some warmer weather... Well, they did say that today, but mm. here I am in a jumper. I know. Oh, it's cloudy out there. Uh, Bryony's here to help get your feet flip-flop ready. What have you got for us, Bryony? Yeah, finally we can get our feet out. Mm -hmm. um, I've got all the gadgets and gizmos that are going to make your feet look stunning for when you want to wear your sandals. Lovely. Thank you. We'll see you in a bit. Nice to see you here. Uh, he's TV's ultimate quiz master. Richard Osman joins us to reveal why now was the right time for him to leave Pointless. Lots of people very sad about that. And uh, also what we can expect from his new book. And as well as all of that, from mortgage dilemmas to the best ways of saving, Martin Lewis is back to solve more of your money matters at 10.20. He was one of the most powerful mob bosses in the world. We're talking to the man who turned his back on the Mafia and lived to tell the tale. That's at 10 past 11. And when Harry Potter met Doctor Who, we're talking to Tom Felton and Mandy Gill about why they're teaming up for a scary new project at 11.35. And as the long-awaited Wagatha Christie trial between former friends Colleen Rooney and Rebecca Vardy began yesterday, today we're trying to mend some broken friendships of yours, maybe, in our phone-in. Who would you like to hear from, Deirdre? Well, it's anyone who's really suffering because they're having a feud with someone who used to be a good friend. I mean, sometimes people are friends from school days and then maybe someone gets a new partner or there's a wedding to be planned or a really big get-together, and it all falls apart, and suddenly you find that the, the best mate you had, you're now feuding with them, they're not talking to you, or you don't want to talk to them because you're so hurt by, by how they've behaved. Or maybe you've got a couple of friends, you've been in a bit of a friendship circle, and you're seeing two, other, two of your mates, and they're really, you know, hammering tongs at one another, and you're thinking, how do I help sort this out? So, basically, we're trying to help with friendship feuds. I mean, isn't it sad seeing those, those two wives take it out on each other? in court for a million pounds ago. Terrible. So don't let things escalate to that point. If you've got a friendship feud going on in your life, give us a call because we're here to help. Thank, Thank you very much, Deirdre. Give us a call for free on 08000 30 40 44 or download our free This Morning app to get involved. Please get in touch by 11.15 today and you must be 18 or over. Before all of that, time to discuss uh, today.